Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In the coming videos, we are going to discuss about morphology of the flowering plants. So in this video, first let us introduce ourselves to the term morphology. So let us first understand what do we mean by morphology. Morphology is basically the science of dealing with the form, the size, color, structure and relative positions of the organisms. So from these characteristics we can understand morphology means the characteristics which, can, which we can easily observe, which we can touch and we can observe finally are those characteristics which are included in the morphology. For example, the size, the color, the external features of an organism. Now, when we are studying the external parts or external morphology of a particular organism, these are known as the external morphology or this study is known as the external morphology. Whereas, if you are interested or studying the internal parts or organs of a cell of an organism, so that is known as internal morphology, very commonly it is mostly called as the anatomy. This is the study of anatomy. Now, let us understand why do we need to study morphology or what is the importance of morphology. Morphology helps in the identification and very importantly the characterization of the plants. Because of these morphology, morphology is actually an important criteria which has been used for the classification of plants. So these are the characteristics or the first characteristics which can be seen from outside or externally these characteristics these morphological characters have been used in order to classify plants into various groups so this is very important for the plant classification in fact morphology is used as the basis or the first basic step for the classification of plants in addition to that morphology the study of morphology has helped us in plant breeding what do we mean by plant breeding? Plant breeding is a technique where we use different types of plants in order to increase the productivity, in order to achieve different characteristic features which are advantageous for us in a particular desired plant. So these type of plant breeding has been possible because of the study of morphology. Morphology helps in crop protection. Because of the study of these features or morphological features, we have been able to develop crops which are protected from different pests, different organisms and in fact also from different diseases. Morphological study has also helped us in increasing the crop productivity, the amount of uh, productivity that a particular crop was giving initially has been developed by the study of morphological characteristics. So all these types like plant breeding, crop protection and crop productivity these has been these actually depend on the morphological study of the plants now very importantly morphology is the indicator of the structural adaptations of the plants to their environment now different plants and a different environment have different morphological characteristics so morphology is a very good indicator about the environment of the plant where these type of plants are residing so in this video, we have introduced ourselves to the term morphology. We have also discussed about some of the interesting and important features of morphology and why do we need to study morphology. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.